Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It's so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a little bit of cleaning and organizing. You may be wondering where in the world I'm sitting. And this is where I'm sitting. I'm sitting on my floor between my big hutch and my kitchen table. <laughs> and I'm gonna clean out underneath this big hutch, you guys. I have been throwing stuff in here and it's really probably gonna be more of just some organization instead of really throwing anything away because I, I pretty much I just took a peek in here. I'm not quite sure what I have. I wanna make sure of what I do have and I want to go through it. You know, and see if there is stuff that I want to give away or put somewhere else or, you know, open up some space for myself. I am a mess here trying to figure out I've got candles, I've got candlesticks, I've got candles, you know, I, it's a mess. So come along with me as I do a little bit of organizing and let me show you, and it's really dusty, so I'm just going to tell you that, whoops, right now, here is what it looks like, whoops, underneath here. You think I have some candles? I don't put them in my garage, even though my garage is uh, insulated, Chris insulated the garage, I still find that my candles will melt out there in the summertime. So I keep all my candles in here, all my extra candles in here. And I've got them on both sides. I really would rather my candles all be on one shelf or this side or one side and my dishes be on the other. So we're gonna see what I have here. <laughs> you can see this is a this is a cake pan or cake dish that Candace actually did this ivy leaf on to go with on my ivy table. It used to sit on my ivy table. Uh, she did an excellent job. Oh, it looks like that candle got dropped. Anyway, I'm gonna clean all this stuff out of here and and dust my shelves really well and see what in the world is what here. Little lantern. This is a little Linux. It's got dressy stuff on one side and it's got a Christmas tree on the other. And I've got a um, sugar bowl and creamer to match. Here's the sugar bowl and here's the creamer. Usually these sit up in, up in this hutch in some way, but Okay, the same friend that gave me those gave me this beautiful bowl that I need to figure out something to do with. This this door over here is about to drive me crazy. Stay open. There we go. These are old. They don't even have a bottom to them. Battery-operated candles. Lob Longenberger pitcher um, teapot. And my great grand, or my grandmother, my dad's mom this time, uh, made this and painted it. Or at the very least, it was hers. Somebody told me that she did paint it, but I don't know whether she really did or not. All right. And then a candle holder. Here's one shelf. Woohoo! Look how dusty. Oh yeah. I believe I'm showing you all this, but you know this is called real life. And this is what we all have to do, you know, at times, right? I'm using Bona to clean it, which is the same thing I use for my floor. It's what I dust with is my Bona. I'm gonna organize my candles, huh? I think I don't think this cake pan will fit on this bottom shelf. I think that's why it's up there. No, it won't fit. I could sure use that for decorating at some point though, huh? I'm gonna put it back up. I might put it on this side actually. Okay, let's see here. Candle City. You can tell.
tell what the color, the dominant color is in my decor usually, huh? Quite great. Organize these as I go here. This came as a trio. Burgundy. little lantern <laughs> probably not come out of there because I didn't even know it was back there all right I am going to start putting the candles back up here I think let's start with burgundy got some really tall burgundy ones these from that new little shop we have a little it's called little this little package of burgundies too from there So burgundy, reds, fall, all my creams. This is fall. Obviously, these are, I think I might have one more of those somewhere. But anyway, all right. Let's move you guys over here. All right, here we go. To go to Goodwill. That is an old silverware measuring spoon set that I used before I got what Chris got me for Christmas that one year. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I remember I used that for a lantern, I think. I don't remember which one. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this cleaned out. Definitely can use this for decorating, huh? These are, we're going to go downstairs. This is one of my mom's old cake dishes. So I think those are, these are going to go downstairs. And with that other stuff that we took down. This I have to keep up here. <laughs> Tell you a little story about this bowl. This is the bowl that I make my uh, sausage stuffing every year. It, my, my sausage stuffing on Thanksgiving Day goes in this bowl. It fits perfectly in this bowl. I make it, pour it in here, bake it in this, serve it in this, and this was my grandmother's. And that sausage stuffing has been made in this bowl for decades. Not only when I've made it, but when my mom made it, and then when my, my grandmother before my mom, then my mom, then me. So this is an old bowl and obviously an old little holder there. So that stays for sure. These little poppy dishes. Oh, that's a pretty bowl, huh? Didn't even realize I had it down here, you guys. It'll stay down here. I think I can probably use that for something.
know, this is, like I said, part of life. This is what I do, you know, and I thought I would bring you all along. As I'm kind of at a standstill, it's kind of late in the day, and I didn't want to really get into another crafting project, but I thought, well, I sure have time to clean this out before we have dinner, so that's what I did. <laughs> and you all got to see some of my stuff that I have. You know, some of it very old, some of it not so old, some of it, you know, new, so. But anyway, with all that said, and with all this done, I feel a lot better. I feel a lot better that I got this done, you know, and I'm organized and I have room for more candles. I'm like, I need any more candles, but, you know, that's what I do as I go through the seasons, you know? So let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone and that for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Hey. hey, everyone. Here I am for that bonus footage that I just promised at the end of my Let's Clean Out the Bottom of the Hutch video. <laughs> I hope you all like that little ditty. Uh, but I'm going to show you this cozy corner in this video. I'll get the camera down and I'll, you know, I'll panned over what I've done, which isn't too much, but I am going to make a, a small funky bow to tie onto this little wreath back here. So I've cut just two different kinds of ribbon, eight strips at 20. So I've cut two different types of ribbon, eight strips of each, or shoot, <laughs> I'll get it right. I've cut eight strips of ribbon, four of each kind, at 21 inches in length. Each one is at 21 inches in length. And I'm gonna make a little funky bow, just a little one, an eight loop funky bow. So let me see if I can put my camera down here so you can watch me work. I don't have my, uh, well, I do have my measuring stick right here, but I've made so many of these, you guys, I think I can eyeball it. But let's see how I do here. So let me put this down on my lap here, so you guys, or at least in front of me, so you guys can see, watch me do this. Excuse any hair tumbleweeds you see, there is one right there. <laughs> anyway, regardless, I've got my pipe cleaner, and I'm gonna take the very first loop, fold it right in half, and pinch it together at what I'm assuming is about five inches. And I'm gonna go through the pattern once. I'm gonna go through the pattern four times, but each time I pick up the two colors, I'm gonna point that ribbon, that loop up from center. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna turn that back tail. Now this time as I go through, I'm gonna turn that loop and I'm going to pinch it, pinch it together at what I think I'm estimating to be about five inches <laughs> and twisting that back tail. And I'm gonna point this one down from center too, matching up the, the loops, twisting that back tail. This time I'm gonna turn them the other direction, turn the loop up from center, my thumb being center Again, estimating about five inches. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then one more time through. There goes one on the floor. Turn it down from center. Down. 
one from center and twist. Now, I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner, go around the top and pull it around the bottom and around the top. Use this hand as resistance and squeeze those ribbons together and twist, 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 twist. Now, as always, the most important part of any bow is the fluffing. There we go. Made a pretty funky bow, huh? I think I estimated that pretty well. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing okay. This is obviously another day that I'm adding this little footage in. I thought I wanted to give you a little bit more footage than just, you know, organizing and cleaning out underneath there. I wanted to give you a little something else to add, you know, to the mix. And I said, well, I started working on this again at night and again, <laughs> you know, in my PJs and I couldn't, couldn't, uh, record anything. I was like, I gotta stop doing this. These people are gonna just kill me here. <laughs> anyway, that's cute. And I'm just gonna tie it right on to this. And then I'm gonna take my uh, camera down off the tripod and I'm gonna get behind the camera and I will take it through and, and just pan all the way through here just to show you what little bit I did. Probably to music. Y'all, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, I just added this and that to it. Other than, you know, there's really nothing major. I just, you know, this is uh, one of those flowers from Kirkland's from last year in gold. So I wanted to pull a little bit of the, and then the peachy flowers and pink flowers. And, you know, I have a little towel down there and a birdhouse. It looks cute. It looks cute. Just a little cozy corner. So I'll take my video camera and, and, you know, run it down there just to some pretty music. And I've already said my final goodbyes. Haven't said them today to you, but I did say them in the other video, so I won't say them again here. Just know that I'm always thinking about you. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, and I keep you away in my thoughts and my prayers. Every so single. to end this little snippet of video, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.